Jim, what's happening in here today? Josh, we're tuning the 2021 X3 RR. Got some 2021 RR action here. Let's see? Yeah, man, super happy with the game so far. I mean, 15 wheel horsepower, you know, uh, two or three pounds more boost. Air fuels are perfect. I mean, right at 12 0. So, uh, and, and this is as base, basic of a tune as we could do. I mean, we haven't touched the wastegate. And, uh, you know, I mean, the, the 2021 is pretty stout to begin with 170 wheel horsepower, you know, right from the factory. So if we can get 185 out of like a stage one or two tune, uh, I think I'll be happy with that. This car is really impressive. I mean, five, you know, about five wheel horsepower more than the 2020 RR. Uh, so can have really stepped up the game and, uh, um, you know, I think people are gonna be really happy with this tune. So we're gonna keep refining this a little bit more uh, as time goes on. And, Hopefully be ready for release soon. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Diagnostic port flash. So initially it won't be, um, we won't be doing a diagnostic port flash, but uh, uh, probably a boot mode flash, but eventually we'll be able to flash by OBD2. There's some solid gains for different octane fuels, all stock injector. Um, yeah, I think those are going to be uh, those are going to be great. A little bit of change on the wastegate for that high boost tune. Yep, just one pound of wastegate um, crack pressure, but I think these are all you know definitely pump gas, whether or not they're 91 or 93. Um, we're going to load this. Um, these calibrations into our car in Phoenix and head out there next week to go to the dunes in some higher weather, do some data logging and um, we'll kind of that, we'll beat that car down. Freshie's not going to be so fresh after this. <laughs> Todd, walk us through where we're at. So where we're at is we've got what we believe are um, two tunes that we're gonna that we're gonna out and field test. One of them makes you know a fair amount of boost, um, you know, 24 pounds of boost, which I think you know should be safe on 93, but we're gonna test that. So we've got basically a stage three R tune with a modified wastegate and a regular stage three tune with a stock wastegate setting. There's about a five to six horsepower difference between the two and about a two pound of boost difference between the two. So the 93 tune right now is making, you know, between 20 and 22 horsepower over 24 horsepower for stock. Um, so I think we're, we're pretty well, you know, on our way to, you know, get these tunes out in the general public some some more field testing how about the car i mean what what did we do to this car is it this car is bone stock exhaust um, turbo pipe everything is stock uh, we've got some data logging equipment on it um we've got a charge tube and blow off valve charge tube is worth like 30 horsepower right yeah i think so oh. Charge um, to blow off valve. Uh, we we so do have our shift tech clutching on there. Which um, we just added today, so the, the gains that we saw, um, power gains are the same, but what we did determine is the acceleration, um, you know, is about a second quicker 
on the dyno with this with this clutch calibration in stock. Yeah, and you can feel it too. I mean, the car just jumps right to attention and, and uh, um, you know, jumps right to 8,000 RPMs, just holds that for most of the run. So these are all things that we're gonna validate in the field on our other, you know, uh, test cars. Um, Let's see, oh yeah, stock turbo. All right. Well, it's exciting. 2021 RR tunes in beta testing right now. We're going to test high elevation, uh, glamour sand dunes, and uh, maybe even down in Mexico with one of our race teams. So stay tuned. More to come from Evolution Power Sports. Right now we're trying to get our rev limits. We appear to have the speed limit raised, but um, rev limits still stock, so we're uh, digging in deep. So far, we're about 10 wheel horsepower above stock. We're gonna keep keep going. <clears throat> that was actually the worst of the tune runs we made. Uh, the highest was 185. So we wanna get the 185 consistently. Hey everyone, Jim with Evolution Power Sports here in beautiful Glamis, California. Uh, we are uh, out here with our brand new 2021 X3 RR. We're gonna be field testing the stock injector tunes and just doing some final uh, last minute touch-ups on the clutch calibration, which we mostly developed uh, President's Weekend and we did that for the stock clutches. So that we'll talk about in a minute, but a couple of details on this vehicle. Uh, first of all, you can see that this is a smart shock car. Okay, the tunes work on all the different 2021 RRs, including the smart shock. Um, clutching, we're going to leave the clutch cover on for now, uh, but this does have our Shift Tech Ultimate Clutch Kit on it. Uh, stock exhaust, <clears throat> as you can see. So the machine really is bone stock. And we have uh, some data acquisition. We've got kind of a rudimentary boost gauge here, which is zip tied up, but our, the rest of our data is all captured by the AIM Solo 2, so we can log air fuels, boost, RPM, uh, all different kinds of necessary data uh, to validate the tune. So we're gonna uh, do some zero to 60 times out here, and then we're gonna head over to Oldsmobile Hill and really pound this car, uh, which is right over the hill over there. So we're out here at Oldsmobile, it's 
uh, this is pretty much after the season's over, but as you can see, there's a million people out here because uh, it's such a beautiful day. It's probably about 80, 85 degrees, sunny. So now we're gonna we're gonna really thrash this car. We gotta thrash it because this is where you know this is where you really um, make sure the tune is good and safe. Is out here. Okay, it's dry, it's hot. You know this hill is a long hill. There's a lot of load on it. So we put you know regular 91 octane pump gas in, and now we're gonna test the tune uh, up on the hill and just go back to back to back, hot lap it like. Hopefully our customers don't do that, but some will. So that's how we want to test it. Well, we're still out here at Oldsmobile testing. Been beating this car down pretty hard. Uh, we've probably done 20 back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back pulls up the hill, but now we're gonna do another torture test. Uh, we unplugged the intercooler fan, so this is gonna simulate like a worst-case scenario, you know, hot intake temp problem. So we're gonna make a couple of passes like that, and then um, look at the data. All right, we just did three back-to-back-to-back -back -back pulls with uh, intercooler fan disconnected. I mean, that, that's like a worst case scenario, you know, doing like a 10 second pull up a hill with, uh, with no intercooler or basically no fan. Hey everyone, we just finished a great day of testing out here at Glamis. The weather was perfect for it, dry, hot, but not too hot. Car was making really good power, raced it on the hill, against a bunch of people. Nobody came close to this car all day. Um, now, I'm not sure how fast some of the cars were, but there were definitely some you know, fast Razors and X3s, but nobody touched this. We did our um, you know, probably 30 to 35 pulls on Oldsmobile back to back. You know, really try to simulate what a customer is gonna do. Uh, we did our draggy times. We shaved half a second off zero to 60 with the Stage 3R and about three and a half tenths with uh, the stage three. So really good gains in the sand. Sand's loose today, so the times weren't great, but a lot better than stock. You know, stock was over six seconds, zero to 60. Uh, tested the clutching. Clutching's absolutely badass. Uh, even on a stock car, the clutching makes a huge difference. Snaps right to 8,000 and just keeps pulling. With the tune, it's even better. So um, we're gonna finish up some high altitude testing next week in Colorado. And then these tunes are ready, ready to hit the sand or the races or wherever you might ride. So stay tuned from Evolution Power Sports.